so it is day two of self-isolation. Joseph is at work. So today, unfortunately, I can't stay completely self-isolated all day long because um, as the manager of my store, I have to go in and bank all the money that we took on Saturday night. I wanted to be responsible and stay in all day long, but I can't. And then when I get back, I've got a few self-isolation um, jobs that I want to do. One of them is to paint the inside of this cupboard because it's still got the sort of greeny grey plasterboard on it. So I've got some paint that I could do that with. Also Joseph's um, inside of his wardrobe and the inside of his cupboard. I'm going to try and paint that too. The second one was to clean the whole flat, Mrs. Hinch style. I do actually really enjoy cleaning, believe it or not, mum. And I'm actually getting pretty good at it. Time to get this tidy. I also want to um, edit a few more of my vlogs from Babylon um, the Floss and Hello Goodbye. I've also got four plays that I want to read. This is the first one that I have to read from the blurb. It's, I think it's about having a child when you're single but I really enjoyed Consent and I love the way she writes. It's very naturalistic, which I really enjoy. Then the next one I've got is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Like every other GCSE taking student, I read this when I was in year 11 and I thought it was excellent. So I'm really excited to read the play version. Um, Mike Bartlett's Snowflake. I've been a big fan of Mike Bartlett since I heard about his existence, which is when I first heard of King Charles III. And then I was in a Mike Bartlett play nearly three years ago called Earthquakes in London. I've also read a play of his called Albion, which had Victoria Hamilton in it, which I thought was really boring. And I really enjoy Mike Bartlett, so I was really upset when I got to the end and was like, I didn't enjoy that. So yeah, Mike Bartlett, big fan of his. Only ever disliked one of his things. And then the final one is Far Away by Carol Churchill. This seems almost like it might be kind of like mystery play, um, which I don't really read a lot of. I enjoy plays that are about humans and human things. Thrillery kind of woman in black things or murder mystery plays, I'm just not really into, but I'm very excited to read this. But anyway, it's enough waffling. But yes, if you haven't watched Love is Blind whilst you've been in self-isolation, do it. It's really, really, really good. I don't really understand what the point of it was, apart from trying to prove that Love is Blind, which most people believe in anyway. But you could totally tell which couples were gonna stick together and which weren't, and I got them all right. Apart from one, one couple I was really shocked at. I'm gonna go out now. I feel like I'm breaking the rules. There is literally no curfew at the moment in the UK. We are allowed to roam free if we like, but we've been advised to stay in, and I'm a goody two-shoes, and I'm really scared that I'm gonna get into trouble. So, our nut west is shut, so I'm having to walk down to the one by the pavilion. There was probably only about six shops open in Churchill Square. I literally watched TH Baker close as I walked past. The Thorntons were having a little party so they probably haven't had any customers all day. Um, they were singing along to Stand By Me and I Will Survive. Which I thought was very apt. I've been wandering around Brighton now for about 10 minutes. I must say I am pretty shocked at how many people are out. I did actually expect to see a lot of fewer people but there are people everywhere. It's like a no, a Monday in January. It's actually quite upsetting. I'm just gonna run back to the store, put my banking sheets back, and just get back to self-isolating, I guess. It's madness.